One, two. A little better. Yep. You want me to talk louder? No, I think you're good. Okay. Okay. I would like to take a moment to share with each of you a very personal message from me and my OPA family. Last Sunday, James Steranzik was thrown out of his boat in the Great South Bay around 4.30 in the afternoon. A search ensued trying to recover and rescue James's body all the way up until Thursday morning where he was eventually recovered. I cannot tell you the severity of this loss. I can't put into words the void that he'll leave. What I can promise you is that all of us that were connected to James in one way or another are better now from it. James was a vicious competitor. He loved nothing more than grabbing that checkered flag and telling us all, you know, better luck next time. And uh, he lived for it, quite frankly and he breathed a fire back into OPA over these last three years that we'd been lacking for a long time. It is with extreme sadness that we start 2023 this way. Our season promo was set to come out last Sunday. We got a call that this had transpired and my media team pulled all of the season promos, all of the reels, everything because it was associated with James. He was a feature in all of it. When I got to Babylon and in Long Island and, and got to talking with his family, I was corrected in that they felt there was no better way to honor James and what he stood for than to make him a prominent figure in our lives and in the racing community and celebrate his life and celebrate what he stood for, which is the sport that we all know and love in its purest form. Join me in OPA in Class 7 and the entire sport of offshore powerboat racing in dedicating the 2023 season to James Jaronzik. He will always be just ahead of us holding a checkered flag. We promise the 2023 season will be one to remember. God bless James his family, his friends, and everyone in Long Island and around the world that's hurting right now. And uh, we'll see you in Lake of the Ozarks. I told my driver that first turn at uh, Lake of the Ozarks, I said, I'm not letting off this turn. And he said through the microphone, he's like, what? You're what? You're not letting <laughs> off the throttle? I'm like, no, just trust it through. Yep. I'm just there for the ride. So I'm hanging on, trusting these two guys to do it. Full 85 mile an hour, 90 degree turn. You're just like, if we're doing it. <laughs> My nephew made him for his birthday. Got everything you need? I never have enough. <laughs> I know you don't. We try to give you guys everything. This has been a lifelong dream for me um, ever since I was a little kid. Uh. Best feeling in the world when you grab that checkered flag.